if you're the common denominator, it's you. I know for me, when I started looking at, you know, why can't I keep a man? It's not all of them. It's me. It's me. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's funny because I had a friend who just hated that. Oh, you, you blame yourself. You shouldn't. Because as women, especially, we're just we're just used to blaming everybody else. You know, he hurt me. We get very victimized. He hurt me. He cheated on me. But he's been cheating on you. He was cheating on you before you got, you know, I have literally have mm -hmm. clients that say, you know, well, he cheated on me while we were dating and when we were engaged and now we're married and he's cheating. He been cheating. <laughs> he's been cheating. Like this is not nothing new. Why are we so shocked? And it's not to be insensitive, but this is the reality of it. It's the same thing. Like, you know, if you're dealing, let's say with a racist boss, mm -hmm. he was racist and barely wanted to hire you, but he let you in because they had a quota to meet. And he's been riding you the whole time since you've been there. And he's nitpicking every little thing you do and, you know, writing you up and giving you low. He's been himself. This is the thing we got to understand. People, when they show you who they are, believe them. We, we hope and wish that people are going to change. When the reality is you can't change your prejudiced boss or, you know, you can't change your cheating husband. You got to change you. And you may have to change your position, you know, your role. You may have to move past that situation because you can't control people. We just want to control people. And I think that we're all secretly wishing and hoping that one day we will have that power. It doesn't exist. And so you only can control you, yourself. And you have to understand that as long as you keep carrying the clutter, you know, you got the baggage, you have to start releasing those bags. And a lot of stuff that people are carrying, you know, they don't even know why they're carrying it anymore. Like I've had 60 minute sessions, 60 minutes. And, and in 60 minutes, somebody realized that they're not depressed, mm. that they're not even angry. They've been telling themselves for so long that they were depressed or angry about a situation that happened before. But once we talk through it and work through it and dig deep and get to the core of everything, it's not even that. Maybe they're just unfulfilled. Or they're not feeling significant in an in, in area of their life or they're just not contributing. They're not doing anything that matters to them. But they're linking that all back to, you know, the breakup from 2000 or the job loss or the storm or whatever tragedy happened in their life. We hold on to that kind of stuff. And if you really sometimes dig deep enough, you realize that's not even a problem anymore. Yeah. It's not even a problem anymore.